Hey everybody, in today's video, we're gonna make the 551 cleaning solution to clean your copper. I learned this cleaning solution formula from uh, George over at Barley and Hops. I, I have used just straight citric acid and water and I've now also used Backset. Uh, they both work and now I'm gonna try the 551. I've never used it and I've heard that it works really well. So I'm gonna mix them up. I'm gonna share the formula with you. It's really simple. The reason they call it the 551 or the 551 is it's 500 milliliters of water, it's 50 milliliters of the hydrogen peroxide, and it's one ounce of citric acid mixed all together. That's it. It's really simple. You know, 50 or 500 plus 50 plus one, 551. So I'm going to get some mixed up and I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. Not sure I've got to show you. But I'm going to use a half gallon mason jar that has milliliter markings on it. And I'm going to start with the water. And I'm, I'm going to end up making a gallon. So uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to triple the formula. So I'm doing 1500 milliliters of water. And then I'm going to do... Uh, 150 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Uh, I'm sure everyone is aware, but hydrogen peroxide is, you can get it easy. It's nothing special about it. Just, uh, you know, it's a first aid kind of thing. So 150 is going to be about halfway between the two marks here. And these measurements do not have to be perfect, I'm told. So we'll see. And now uh, we want to want an ounce of citric acid, which I've already weighed out one ounce, and then I'm going to weigh out another. But I put it in this little pill bottle. There's one ounce of citric acid. I'm going to put the lid on it. I'm going to shake it up, and then I'm going to funnel it into this gallon jug and make another half gallon batch because I want a gallon of this. And then uh, I'll be using it on the next video. But I thought I would share this with you since I'm making it up anyway. And there it is. 551 Cleaning Solution by George over at Barley and Hops. At least that's where I learned it. See y'all next time.